Hello and welcome to this session, providing insight into the mysteries of implementing Oracle Stream Analytics on a Oracle Cloud Service Compute instance. So here we have some applications running on OSA. We have one here that's executing uh, in the public cloud on compute on the right hand side of your screen. On the left here we have a uh, version of a telematics use case uh, using our spatial pattern analyzing the data uh, on my local host. This uh, spatial pattern is feeding the results of that spatial uh, analysis into this exploration. Here I am just selecting out and filtering only the status value that has information provided part of the spatial analytics. Then I'm going to push that information uh, to a target and in this case that target is using REST and I've defined a uh, REST target here and as you can see I'm using the public IP address uh, of my version of OSA running on the Oracle Cloud Service Compute. You can see some of the other artifacts that I've created as part of this telematics uh, analytics use case. And what we're looking at here is actually racing cars moving around a, uh, a track uh, in uh, the United States and their various positions in relation to certain areas on the track. And again, here on the right hand side, you're seeing that information only relating to the status values being sent up to the cloud. So how did I create my OSA cloud service compute instance? First of all, I signed on to the Oracle Cloud, providing my um, domain name and also my user ID and password. Now I can see my dashboard of the various cloud services that came when I requested a trial of the Oracle Compute. Here specifically is information about that Oracle Compute. We'll take a look at the more information provided on the dashboard as an overview here. Let's open the service console for my instances that I created uh, on a compute. So I actually created two instances here uh, during my evaluations. I'm actually using the second one which is a relatively small uh, compute instance. It uses uh, two CPUs uh, and some uh, uh, high memory allocation. Uh, if we look in more specific details uh, of the shape uh, and definitions are used on the cloud compute. Uh, specifically here you can see below the shape was uh, was using the two CPUs and uh, high memory allocation. Using two CPUs and then you see here this is the memory allocation that was provided when I created the instance. And I used the 6.7 Linux version uh, as my image for creating uh, this instance. For volumes, I created a, uh, a specific volume of 150 gigabytes to give me plenty of space. And here, as you can see, I set up my security lists and my public keys uh, using PuttyGen utility uh, to give me the private and public keys that I needed. Uh, for this uh, cloud service. Once I have my uh, definition and my instance running, I then set up my PuTTY to connect uh, to this cloud service compute instance. Here you can see the IP address. Um, I'm going to step you down through now the various options that I uh, defined uh, for this PuTTY definition to access my cloud instance. 
for instance I use the OPC user and um, here you can see where I defined my private key to access uh, the cloud service and other options uh, relating to uh, being able to tunnel, use the tunneling function of PuTTY uh, which I use in my real VNC uh, desktop access which I'll show you in a moment. Okay, this is the port and the information that I need as part of my uh, VNC server uh, connection using my client. Here you can see my console and a few pointers here on what I did and when I actually set up this cloud compute. Uh, the um, root file system slash um, was a little bit small for me so I uh, extended that provided a uh, larger version uh, of the disk for me, uh, increased the file system. Uh, I also increased the swap system um, and added a, a mount to the new disk on my slash mount slash door uh, file system. If we look here at my F disk, you can see here uh, I added a few partitions, extra partitions on this instance. Uh, to give me more space and plenty of this space to install uh, the features that I wanted on this compute. Okay, to use my VNC server um, and my client, my V2 client, uh, I installed the uh, the software using Yum, and I also installed the browser, uh, Mozilla browser as well, and OpenOffice uh, also on this compute instance if I wanted to use that as well. If we take a look at the uh, setup for my VNC server. There you go, uh, the uh, process number and the fact that I'm using the colon one uh, display option. So I set that uh, display variable uh, before I started my VNC server. Okay, with that running, I was now able to go uh, to my V2 and connect using that public IP address. Uh, to my cloud service compute instance. Okay, let me uh, provide the password here for my OPC user on my desktop. And now you can see my desktop is running uh, on my compute uh, with the OSA server started, installed and running and executing and allowing me to build applications not only on premise but also now uh, on this Oracle Cloud Service Compute. Using the REST interface, I found the performance uh, relatively good and um, was able to send the data uh, efficiently, performantly up to uh, my uh, OSA running on the OSA Cloud Compute. Um, here I can see the, uh, the information again as the data is uh, driven from my local host machine on my uh, notebook uh, doing that filtering just on the status code providing the spatial analytics information and that's been pushed up uh, uh, to uh, the OSA application uh, running on the Oracle Cloud Service Compute.